Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today it is Sunday, but it's like such an odd part of the year that part between christmas and new year's where you're not really sure what day it is and you don't really have much of a routine but the last couple days christmas and boxing day i've had really chill days which has been honestly really nice just spent a lot of time with family and liam and today i'm getting back on track with a bunch of different things i got a video done today that's going up and i'm gonna go hang out with some friends later today but i've also been working on my bullet journal and i finally like semi finished the like templates i haven't completely finished filling it in because because some of that is more like personal that I don't necessarily want to have on the internet. But you guys always ask to see my bullet journal spread. So I thought I'd show you. This is my bullet journal for 2021. It's like this sage color. It's from Stationery Pal. And I am obsessed. I haven't actually done any sort of title page. Don't know if I will. But once you open it up here, I have almost like a bunch of Dutch doors. And instead of doing a little future log, which is what I normally do and what I normally never use, I decided to do basically a calendar of the whole year so I can always flick back to this and write down what I need because I always use calendar setups like this each month, but I often have to work ahead or look back. So this will make it really easy to do that, I guess. Then we have my vision board. I have a bunch of goals. You can interpret this how you will, but I have some career goals, some personal goals. I've got the wedding sometime in 2021. I want to invest in friendships, in relationships. I want to read the Old Testament because I haven't ever read that completely. I want to take some more film photos. And I also just want to build a home for Liam and I and work towards saving for our future house because we'll just be renting straight up. And I do have some more specific savings goals under this, but they're a little bit more personal. Then we move on to looking back at 20. 20 and looking forward to 2021 I actually got this spread idea from Amanda Rach Lee I just think this is such a cool idea to kind of reflect and use those reflections to help you plan ahead so feel free to obviously copy this if you would like to but I haven't filled this in yet then we just have goals and resolutions so I'll fill this in probably more of like a brainstorming mind map type of thing then we have savings tracker so i'll probably have a few main things that i save for this year and i'll just write amounts up here and kind of color it in as i reach those certain amounts and then we have my year in photo so i'm just going to attach a polaroid photo or a little photo that i print from my sprocket to represent each month so i have those and then a reading log my goal for this year is to read 50 books so I have space for 50 spots. We'll see if I can do that, but that's that's the goal. That's all I have for my overall yearly spread, but then we move into January 2021. My spreads this year have been literally the most simple thing ever, and I may go back and add more, but right now I'm just keeping it simple. We just have January goals and habits, and I'm gonna list some things here, and maybe add something else down here, I'm not sure yet. Then we have a habit tracker where I can track those habits and goals that I want to actually achieve. Moving on, we have a master to-do and a wedding to-do. These are something that I've incorporated in my monthly spreads most of last year because there's always stuff to do and there's always wedding stuff to do. So have to include those. And then we have my content planner. So I've got a spot for each day of this month. And if I'm uploading on the 1st of Jan, then obviously I'll fill it in here. If I'm uploading on the 10th of Jan, I'll write down the video idea in here. And that just helps me know when I'm actually uploading and when I have to be getting those videos ready. I can also put like Instagram posts and stuff in here if I want to. And then we have video ideas and sponsorship. So it's really handy to keep track of all of those things and know when they need to go live and when I need to film them or even just like have my draft in so there's just space for that and that is it it is so simple guys I think a lot of people think that you have to have some crazy bullet journal spread but I keep mine very simple and it's just super practical and usable and it really really benefits me and my lifestyle so just make one that suits you and works well for what you need it to but that's what I've done so far we got the goods the goods Yep, that's what I meant. We just picked up dinner and we're heading over to Grace's house to see her and little Arlo. My heart. I wonder if he's grown since we saw him last. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Thanks for time for me to go in. Like, I dive deep. Like I'm last week night with the flow here, Johnny boy my peeps, I'm an infotainment state, my brain ain't contained, shit keeps spilling out, I'm belligerent and insane, my drink don't stay in place, that shit's in my I'm mouth. just two girls, one cup and keep it hipster like succulents, my main bitch be a succubus, swear I'm better than younger me, but I'm still just as hungry, I could eat the whole country, contrary to what you see, more than a fat Asian gamer, I'm more like Rayman. 
why I'm running and running. Don't fuck with my Ray Bans. Where I'm stunner shade stunting. Your bitch come over, she coming. My face be like a couch cushion. Yeah. Stick around it and you'll find some real change. I'm so OA. I got Good morning guys. I woke up like 15 minutes ago, but Georgia is on her way here so we can go to the beach. She got a beach umbrella for Christmas, so we gotta test it out. So we're having a beach day which I am so excited for. We're going pretty early and then coming back a bit after lunchtime and I'm just really looking forward to it. But I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and Apparently there's a line on the beach. George got her new beach umbrella. This is it. It's actually incredible. I really like it. Are you glad that you have it? Yeah, I love it. It's incredible. I really can't see what I'm filming right now. <laughs> I do apologize. This is what I'm reading. I am enjoying it so far, kind of. It's like a three out of five so far. It's not bad, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm almost halfway through though, so I'm hoping it gets better in the second half, but we'll have to wait and see. It's quite a few hours later now, but I have just been running around doing a bunch of errands basically all afternoon after getting home from the beach and it's been really productive. I picked up a little package from the post office. I also had to go to Bunnings to get something and then I may have bought something and that something may be a new camera. I've been wanting this for a while and the camera that I'm currently filming on is really getting to the end of its life. Like the screen itself is hanging on by a thread. I have duct taped it so many times I can't even tell you. But apart from that, it's also having some internal glitches as well. Sometimes when I stop recording a clip, it just doesn't save it to my SD card, no matter which SD card that I have. It also sometimes will just freeze in the middle of a clip and then it will kind of just, like you have to restart the whole camera to be able to get it to work again. And that clip that you were in the middle of filming doesn't exist on your camera anymore. Um, yeah, it's just really not fun. So it was time and I decided to go for the Canon M50. So I have unboxed the charger so that I could charge the battery so that I could actually use the camera, but I'll show you guys this little guy. I currently have the G7X Mark II. I got that about halfway through 2017, I'm pretty sure. So I've made it about three and a half years, which I think is pretty solid for something that I use every single day or almost every single day. So we invested in a new little guy. This is actually cheaper than the new G7X. And I just like that it's a little bit bigger, but it's still compact. I've done a lot of research and compared it to a lot of other cameras because I knew this day was coming, but I'll show you guys. We have a little strap. I don't know how long this is. Oh, okay, so it's like a full like a neck lanyard type thing, which I don't know if I'll attach that because I'm always carrying mine around. The lens, which is just the kit lens, but I really like that it has a detachable lens because my current camera doesn't, so I can't really change anything, but also you can't have a microphone on the G7X. Whereas you can on this guy. See how nice that is? I actually have to run out in like, oh no, like 15 minutes. So I've still got a bit of time, but so that is what it looks like all together. One thing that kind of put it above the other cameras that I was looking at, I was looking at a few Sony ones and a few other ones as well. One thing that I really liked was the screen flips out sideways, which means that when I'm vlogging like this, I can see myself, but not only that, a lot of screens are, you know, you can see yourself with. You can attach a microphone on the top here and it doesn't interfere with the screen. So if I had like the Sony or the G7X or anything else that flips up ways, if I had a camera that did that and I put a microphone on top, suddenly the microphone is blocking the screen. So now I can't, I can't see myself, so what's the point? But yeah, I really like that it even has the ability to have a microphone because I haven't had that before and I really want to increase my sound quality. So this is just kind of a, let's jump into 2021 with an upgrade. You know, why not? It looks honestly so beautiful, I'm really excited. I've been charging the battery for a little bit, but it's not fully charged yet. I'm also just a lot more familiar with Canons. The lenses are a lot cheaper overall in comparison to Sony. So if you want to expand your collection, it is a little bit cheaper overall. Ooh, okay, so what's the date today? Ooh, wow. That actually looks already so much better. Oh, and the record button's like kinda on the front there. So it's so much easier than trying to, whoa, reach behind. I love that. The lens can really just go in and out. Oh, that goes qu quite far in, to be honest. Honestly, I'm so excited. I need to definitely learn. Oh, it's really good quality. That's a bit stressy for my 
acne. You definitely need to learn to make sure I'm looking at the camera, not the viewfinder. Please be patient with me. But how about we switch to the new camera so we can see a real comparison. So I'll switch in three, two, one. What do you guys think? Hopefully there's some sort of audio difference maybe, hopefully some visual difference as well. I mean, I don't look my best, but guys, I'm just so excited. 2021, we're coming for you in quality. <laughs> hopefully there is some sort of jump up in quality, but even just that my lens is still attached, quite an improvement. Let me show you what my, my old camera currently looks like. So it looks okay, kind of from the front, but the little grippy part here, that's coming off. Then we also have the grippy part coming off the back here, but the real doozy is, first of all, I don't know if you can see, but there is a crack in the screen. I don't know if you can really see it. But then we have my duct tape creation here. And if I take this duct tape off, this screen will straight up fall off. Like there is nothing holding it in anymore. Also, every time I take out the battery and put it in, so like every time I charge the battery and then put it back in, I have to re-put in a bunch of data, like the date and the time zone and stuff, which is just kind of frustrating when you like pick up your camera, put the battery in and you want to go and you suddenly have to sit there and fiddle with it for a couple minutes. I can't move this out because it's taped in usually you can like move it out a little bit which sometimes helps with your viewing sometimes when you turn it on and turn it off again sometimes it gets caught this little shutter part stays open it's it's really fun time i also had to duct tape over the flash so i can't use a flash anymore <laughs> look it's really just it's not it i'm glad we have an upgrade but i'll probably still use this sometimes like maybe i'll just keep it in case i need it maybe if i want to use two cameras and have another angle but it's just not reliable enough like i just i can't use a camera that i'm not sure if it's going to save my clips like that is just not an option and honestly three and a half years of using it almost every day she's had her time we can let her go and we can move on to my new baby i need to head off it's date night maybe i'll take you guys along with me we can test out this camera a little bit liam and i are having a picnic and i think we're picking out pizzas from Corbett and Claude, which I don't think I've had before. Excited, let's go. New Year's Eve which is hopefully when I'm uploading this video as well so I hope you'll have an incredible new year and I'm gonna try and vlog my new year's celebrations for you guys and also talk about my resolutions and stuff so that will hopefully be coming in my next vlog I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I can't wait to spend 2021 with you guys goodbye